in another vessel. Just as it seems good to the porter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, O house of Israel, can I do with you, can I not do with you as this part, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. Grass wither it, flowers fade, but the word of the Lord will stand forever. Please remain standing as we pray. Father God, we thank you for your word. It is real, it is powerful. Holy Spirit, we ask that you reveal yourself to us in a very special way. We shall be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And the church say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. For a few minutes, I want to share with you on this topic titled, The Process of Restoration. The process of restoration. The Lord has been dealing with me concerning this subject of restoration because we're believing God that this year will be a year of restoration to, to this church family. And the Lord instructed me to teach not only on restoration of material things, this word came to me as I was praying over all the envelopes that you wrote your vision and list of things that you want God to restore in your life. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me. I never read your envelope. My job is to pray on it. He said, but in that envelope, it's mostly of material things. I said, go and teach your people that we need spiritual restoration. And that will be the focus of my teaching this morning. That not only does God want to restore you and I materially, not only does he want to restore what the locusts have stolen, what the canker worm, the palmer worm have stolen, he also wants to restore you and me spiritually. The passage I just read to your hearing is a story involving a porter and the clay and the wheels which the porter used to make a vessel. Am I right about it? But one thing I want you to take note is that throughout that text of a porter picking the clay putting it on the wheels and making a vessel, there is a process involved. Somebody shout process. process. The same thing is true when it comes to restoration. There is a process for restoration. I know many of us don't like that word, process. But if the truth be told, Every woman that ever birthed a, birthed a child will tell you the child didn't just show up. There is a process. If the truth be told, you cannot deliver any miracle that you are unwilling to conceive, that you are unwilling to carry, that you are unwilling to push out. Somebody shall process. I don't like the word myself. In fact, there are times in my own life that I've actually questioned God. That I ask questions like, why am I struggling? Why am I going through what I'm going through? Sometimes I ask questions, why am I in so much pain? To be honest with you, there are times that I'm in controversy, even with my own God. One time I actually said to God, I never will forget. I prayed for a brother by the name Poju. I'm one of those that just believe God. Whatever.